All right, Minecraft viewers and friends alike, we are back and loading up the game here one more time in the background. Get that full size. Homomorphic. Oh, you guys can't even see it yet. Homomorphic to a three sphere. Yep, that's what it is. All right. Let's go. So, in our last exciting episode, we were crossing a big sea of lava. Now we're in some basalt uh, delta, more solid, hopefully. And um, we'd like to keep this uh, keep this journey going a little ways. Um, get out into some brand new terrain. Yeah, this whole new loading stuff. It's cool, but it... Uh, Definitely seems to take a minute longer at the moment. So, here we are, uh, back in our... Okay, get a little more quartz. Now, I'd love to restock all the uh, all the netherrack we can too but at the moment it's just so likely to bring more lava on us that I don't want to really explore too far the blackstone will be nice we've got a lot we've used a lot and we'll continue to for our highways and this you know this could very likely become the major artery uh, that we use so that's all that um you know, if we're if we're trying to build a home out in the new content area, we could be uh, back and forth across this stuff quite a bit. So, not to mention, you know, our our Badlands base, all that we want to connect to. So, all in good time. But uh, the main concern at the moment is getting that new oh here we go what do we got more ocean I still hear I think there's one back behind us too nice if uh, there was a sound difference by the sizes and there may be a little bit but you know it's certainly not one where you can tell from above if it's a giant slime that's the quickness of it is a good clue uh, you know how f how often they're jumping so the big ones will, will have those mighty leaps and then it'll take them a bit to reset. Whereas the smaller ones, you kind of get the 
Right, well, I don't see anybody. Oh. Oh, I do see some blue trees. Oh, good. We're almost, <laughs> almost through. popular spot. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more width here. I, I hate to use the blocks, but I also don't want to uh, get knocked into lava too often. It happens. We know it does, but is that a little guy? So, seemed like a medium guy. Here, take a look. New terrain. We've got some trouble still ahead or behind, depending on how you want to. Dark now. I have to get out of the uh, out of the light, relative light, I guess, of the basalt. The kind of bluish glow. Quartz, if it doesn't likely mean more lava messes to deal with. And may as well clear out a little bit of that. Alright, now. Speed! deal with them in a while. Well, it is more, <laughs> more nether ocean, but uh, maybe less lava slimes in this. 
we shall see. They spawn most frequently at the Basalt Delta, so you may get a few, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be that constant nuisance. This is kind of a nice bit of the ice highway, is that you don't have to worry too much about using, a, you know, a hodgepodge of blocks for this base layer, because they're all going to get covered. So, well, sure, I'd rather hang on. I mean, we've got how many chests of netherrack just sitting back there, but... You never bring them because you don't know what, you know, are you just just filling a shulker box to carry it along because you're then going to fill up even more shulker boxes by the end. Um, ooh, hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. So, as we've seen before, um, some challenges here. The axe guy. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I bet your eardrums are bleeding. That came out of nowhere. Um, the axe guys that at any point are a threat. They are real deal. Um, they didn't respawn for us when we were clearing the bastion in the, uh, the kind of pig farm. Um, but they could still drop on us from here. And, you know, anywhere in here. And I'm just kind of trying to head down and go Ideally, I mean, I, you know, maybe they're over in that section, and we can just kind of slide by. <laughs> It'd be the the best scenario here, I think. Um, we'll just hope to keep on our merry way. It's amazing how many of those we've gone right through the middle of, though. Or, you know, I think we've got one totally untouched, one other one that we've cleared, but haven't, uh... You know, didn't bother to take down to the foundations like we did the other one, but, uh... It's good to know we got the options. Casts. Lovely. They worry me less, even if they're starting to get angry. Um, get that top one. those clear out all that okay uh, let's go just a bit inside here obviously we have that ghast and it would be nice to not have him fireball what we're working on all right we are not Polished, blackstone, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I 
was thinking we may need to uh, dump and reload, but I don't think there's that much stuff yet that we need to deal with. Let's check here. Um, 2,000 blocks, and I'm going, you know, roughly from 0x, so I, I'm fine working with that. Um, that would be about 16,000 overworld, and I think another another half would be sufficient. Um, get us to twenty thousand blocks away overworld. Um, so if by my calculations, a uh, thousand equals eight thousand, then. 500 equals 4,000, and if we're at 16,000, 2,500 should be our destination. And oh, oh. Okay, okay. I don't see drips yet, so maybe we got it. Um, really? that one. There we go. Speed! Oh. Ah, here we go again. Ah, uh, just no... I mean, we got nearly 200 from where we were looking before. There we go. 1,800. 700 more. Not many, right? We've come so far. Alright, let's... Bit of shoveling here. Clean up that edge. And cross our fingers for more warp speed. Of course, without that. Gravel, once you, you know, once you've already crossed it, kind of whatever, right? You know, it's it's not going to fall. It's not a trap at that point, but I still don't like walking on it. All right. How far can we go? Boom, boom. How far can we go? I was going to say, we've been too lucky with all that magma being above and to the sides of us, which is, you know, that yellow light, it's kind of nice, and then it settles back in. I, for those who were watching in the one of the previous videos, we, uh, we talked about how I'd, I'd loaded one world uh, previously, just um, while I was on vacation just to take a look at stuff and see um, how it was looking and I, you know I just didn't want to look in um, in our real world here and even load it it ended up it hadn't dropped yet so I was I was getting a little over anxious 
but uh, I was hoping. And um, but one of the things I in that world I'd been playing around the soul sand was new, so I'd made the the high speed um, parts of some of the tunnels that I hadn't gotten around to icing with soul sand. And with Soul Speed 3 on the boots, they they move pretty quick. Just one thing you want to watch out for there is the wear and uh, making sure that you're not um, losing your boots. Because uh, I, I think they are then processing some kind of defensive attribute or something. I don't know. Not sure how it goes, but... That is something. But I did confirm for myself that the full soul speed can go on our our boots that we have currently equipped uh, without any any issues so that's nice depending on how much we repaired them in the early game I don't know if we used up any of that durability even if we did it wouldn't be a problem to make another pair of boots obviously we were just talking about um, how can we use levels uh, so that when we come down here, we can be really low level and uh, not have so many, you know, whether they're lava slimes or um, gas or anything else. You know, you just get fewer spawns if it's uh, if it's generating them based on a lower player level. So back up. Boop, boop. And here we go. Oh, I figure we're due for a good good old chunk of magma here. Not too terrible to deal with. Just annoying. I really like it. I just kind of wish they'd made it with more of the frequency of, like, glowstone. And, you know, some of the edges and transition zones between the liquid magma and uh, these magma blocks would be cool. Um, but it just seems much more common. Now, what was it we were saying was something that had a new use that we'd been talking about previously? Um... Oh, the uh, honeycomb blocks. Yeah, that'll be fun to look into. They do something with copper. Uh, you can wax or unwax copper. and Both have achieve advancements associated to it. Um, but I don't know why, why we're doing that. So we'll have to figure all that out. And again, I know, I know there's loads of videos um you know people have been playing this since the snapshots i just kind of wanted to give myself a chance to uh to kind of play and, and see you know can we figure stuff out i like to use the advancements as a guide um for those who saw me going through the notes we, we kind of read through those gave my opinion on what they sounded like um and really my only beef was that some of them I thought really should have been bundled into single advancements based on that they you know they all worked with a similar game function. It was just like a, a toggle, right? It would be like you get an advancement for turning on the light switch, and then you get another advancement for turning it back off again. Uh, for me, that's uh, it. Just seems a little redundant. Like you know, give me give me something a little bit deeper than that uh, to play around with, but. Seems as though that's, uh, oh man, now we got to, okay, um, boom, any of this other stuff go, just regular blackstone, I guess we can combine up those. All right, anything else that could stack that I'm not seeing? Uh, so sand. Growls, another axe ruffle, the gold. You can put the gold together. All right, well, that helps. Now, 
Let's get another one of those. Let's get one of these. Maybe purple will make the dreaded magmas. And... Ah, uh, that's dumb. Just put everything again. There's no point in wasting too much time. We can hang on to that. Uh, the rest of these can all stay. I don't mind keeping a little bit of the gravel just to... Uh, help deal with lava. Alright, that can go away. We aren't going to need it anymore. Oh, always. And now we're going again. Alright, we're down to like 400 some blocks. I hope I have enough obsidian. I didn't even think of to check any of that. That's the problem with being away from the game for a while before you start on these adventures. I'm just going to trust the toolbox in the, uh, in the, uh, not shelter, um, uh, ender chest has what we need. I know I've got lighters, I just... Do I have enough obsidian to build the frame when we get there? Definitely something to check before <laughs> before you go 2,500 blocks through the nether. I mean, we could run it back without too much issue, but I kind of don't want to wait that long. And we've been waiting long enough to get here. Again, I very excited uh, the. If the computer thing works out, you know, it doesn't have too many curves or hiccups, I would like to get, uh, uh, some point to a, a combo of streaming and, and YouTube. Uh, I don't think I'll ever stream this world, at least not for a good long while. Uh, I've got an idea for a game that uh, I'll start streaming with, and uh, the hints have been prolific. I could certainly use Dreadmore for that. It's uh, it's one that I could, you know, play. I don't think it gets much run. Whether anybody would look in the in the directory for that game. I don't know. The times that I've checked, there's been no listing, which I assume just means nobody's playing it right now. But that, you know, if I wanted to, I could list, you know, pop it up, put in Dungeons of Dreadmore, and then it would, uh, it would come back up. At least that would seem to make sense to me. But, uh, never know. Yep. Don't need you. Uh, anybody know if, you know, if I should expect or be looking for... Um, like amethyst or anything? out in these areas. Is that something we're likely to encounter? Don't know. Oh, but we're getting getting close. Love that. You guys feeling the excitement? So first question is gonna be where do we pop up? Is it my preference, all things being equal, let's get a bamboo jungle. <laughs> Finish up our uh, our biomes. Because there was no new biomes added, we're still only too short on our adventuring. Uh, is it adventure time, I think, is all the biomes? Um, 
So that would be nice to to complete. Uh, plus we want pandas, which only go there. Um, but I mean, there's so many, so many wonderful things, and I don't know that I don't know that jungle would really help us with the new content too much because there's nothing jungle specific. Um, but would anything in the jungles be beneficial to us? Don't know. And then I was, I was asking because somebody was talking about um, how did we get here? The advancement for all the active effects at the same time. They're like, oh, it's going to be so much harder now. Um, with restoration? And I was like, well, is that any different than the Notch Apple? Again, the Enchanted Golden Apple, for those who uh, use the modern name. Um, or is that just, you know, just more of another option for a way to apply that? And it seemed like there was some disagreement, but maybe, maybe that is the same. So that, that was one that you know, I felt like, ooh, maybe we just got dinged by not having it. I don't know if the food counts go up. Do we have to eat more foods now that we're... Um, and the patch notes didn't, you know, didn't say a whole lot about that. The goats, do you have to breed them? Uh, is that a new breeding animal pair? kind of think that's likely. Uh, how about these axolotls? How do they uh, play? Can they be tamed? Is that something? That looks potentially lobby, but it's low. Oh, we're close! Under blocks or so. This, this one certainly doesn't have to be precise, so we can kind of, if we have a nice basalt or blackstone area or something that we want to use, we can just, hey, we're close, let's get it done. Um, I think having the 20,000 block range on the overworld is going to put us way out beyond where we'd gone for the woodland mansion. That's my hope, anyway. I, I know we went a long way, and it was, uh, it was a little bit to the south by the time we'd gotten out there. Uh, but I don't know I don't know how far that ended up. So this is really just an effort to make sure we, we end up good and clear from everything else. So... I didn't move my finger, and I started on a shift, and it kind of, like, showed me slipping off the edge. I wonder what... If that was just, you know, some weird laggy something or other? I don't know. I'm not going to overly worry about it. Oh, 50. Oh, yeah. Everything that could slow us down. Definitely want to make sure you get all those shots in game. Well, hopefully, with the quartz we found along the way, we'll have plenty to repair this pick uh, from this little run. We may even have enough on the pick to go three high all the way back. Yeah, the basalt, that'll be a little bit. Lava work, maybe, but once we're out there and we've done everything, I don't mind pulling a fire potion out of the bag and uh... oh, good. All right. Well, this is this is the exact welcome 
sort of spot I was hoping for. So this one, I because it doesn't matter, I am going to set it off to the side a little bit so we can just, you know, if we want to, we can keep this, this main highway going and just get off to the side. Um, this again, maybe our... Uh, Lava up point. Sounds like more down at the other end we have liquid lava to contend with, but. If we can get the height of our portal in, it doesn't have to be wild and crazy or fancy. Uh, we do need one. One extra height all the way around, and then I think we can set the floor and ceiling of the portal high and low, and not have to open up too much more. So hopefully just with a bit of ceiling patching if needed. Um, the lava and I hear you lava it makes such difference having the sounds on the <laughs> correct left and right ear okay uh, we filled up a lot of space that's fine so let's it's about halfway yes. Here, get a little light. We dropped those already. Let's, uh, let's start here. All that away. Um, I think those were pretty full, but that's what I was. Double check here. Jam up. Nothing more to put in for any of those, so now. Um, let's continue on with what we've got. We'll keep. Most of those. No, we will empty as many of those as possible. So we're about to go to the surface, right? Grab all these. We don't need this anymore. It's done. All right, are you guys ready for the netherite awesomeness? Netherite? No. Oh, man. Jam in any more of these? Anything? Anywhere? <sighs> Alright, my gen. 
Penta, you're next. All those go away. All right. You two. Up and away. You? Be good to me. <sighs> Close. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. No lava whammies. Fortunately, there hadn't been any drips, so it's pretty confident. Nope, not you. We are now low on obsidian, so we don't get a second chance. Wherever we come out is where we where we be. Like that. We'll keep these two just in hand. Um, I'm going to pick this up for now. And let's just put a few torches up. They're not going to do anything mob-wise, but... Um, Alright. Bamboo! cave. What is the caves and cliffs area? Alright, anybody coming to get us? Doesn't yet seem like a mine shafty cave. Let's Clear around us. Uh, let's check the biome. Sunflower plains. Alright. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you're going to have plains, flower plains are nice. Um, I did not look at the Y level. See how far up we have to climb. But before I just dig a staircase, which is... <gasps> Hang on, Mr. Zombie. I was seeing my first copper. I assume that's copper. It's kind of got the green and the... Oh, do we have room? So green and beautiful copper. All right, now we have some real stone. Are you going to cook in our blast furnace into copper? I mean, I know there's ingots because apparently the drowned have them now. <gasps> More copper! And a mine! I was not, not surprised at all to find that the game generated a mine. Now, that must be the new op... Uh, opper? The new iron ore. Oh, more mine... Ooh, we're gonna have to have a good name for this mine. Oh, it's so exciting. So, what was a spider farm or just a. I mean, it would be so fitting for this world. I think it's just a web, though. Wow! All right, we are off and running. Um, this kind of changes how we want it. Does this go up? It doesn't. Okay, let's push you guys back to there. We'll kind of make that a corner. And going back to... Oh, Cole has new new graphic. They said the, the ore textures. I like those. The, oh, that's... <laughs> 
beautiful sunflower. Oh, and is that that must be a torch or something, right? Oh, <gasps> beautiful daylight. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited, guys. So I hope uh, I hope all the mining and stuff. I know. As the comments indicated, the impatience on some of this kind of stuff, or it, excitement, uh, impatience is strong. Oh, what are you? Are you a drippy thingy? Or are you an amethyst geode? Um, what happens if I break it? Oh, are you glow moss? Do you glow? How far back do I have to go to see if you glow? Oh, <gasps> you glow vines or moss or something? Oh, and now we're laggy. Um, can I get you? Oh, can I pick you up? Oh no. I didn't even take a snapshot of it. Oh, no. I broke it? Okay. Um, note to self. Cave moss. If that's what it was. It's really awesome, but don't break it. At least not with an axe. And next time, take a picture. All right. Whatever, whatever coolness. Okay, this... That's not very cool copper ore, though. Um, does it always come in twos? Can we get, like, a big vein of it? Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. Hey. Just think if we had, uh... Whoop! Jeep! Boop! Okay. That's good stuff. Now let's get it. Oh, there was even more. Oh, look at it all. Oh, I never thought there could be so much so wonderful oh we're gonna have copper um oh that's awesome uh the iron i think i'm gonna leave for now okay now this was our hole i want to go up Let's, uh... Let's do... Like this. One more up. Knock down some of these. Uh, we're gonna have candles we can use in our, I uh, mean, more in our base than in the mine, right? But you remember the old, like, candle helmet mining things before they had electric lights? Okay, that was just iron, not copper. Our new coal. Core. What are the new recipes? Right, was that just a redundant, like, hey, you got the new version of the block you've already had. Uh, so we're going to tell you that you have a new recipe, even though you have the same recipe you've always had? Don't know. Um, oh, it's getting night. I don't think I have a bed in here. Or out here. Uh, let's retreat down... 
Is that a coal? Now, where was our... I think... Yeah, we came this way because I almost shot those flowers. Oh, more coal. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get 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 and I'm pretty sure we left the fortune axe in the toolbox, so that should be good. We can just kind of start building up here. Uh, oh, yeah, we came around here, and then this was the cave. I'd like to kind of, oh, there. There's, oh, you're just a regular old spider. Okay, there's our portal. So what I was saying is I think I want to blow all this out and make this a Big central room is, you know, kind of like the horse fields mine where we come down and can just set all our shulkers out, load everything up. Uh, you know, we'll put some kind of a base up here near the, the surface, but I think this is a great uh, location and we can, you know, make it more and more and more accessible and safe and enclosed where, you know, we're just going on a stairway or whatever. Um, you know, we can even do water elevators inside, um, to set those up. So that's kind of the starting plan since we're going to, um, yeah, that's good. Oh, um, Maybe make the steps right at the base of the portal. Get all this other stuff out of the way. Dirt's gonna have to go. Yeah. We are way past the point in our gameplay where we're hanging out with dirt. Okay. So yeah, kind of like uh, I don't know, one of them. We just oh, I was in the uh, in the darkroom spawner by necessity. We um, built a, a kind of raised step platform up into the portal. So we'll do that again here. That'll be fun. Um, what I was really thinking here is that while it's nighttime, we can, uh, can kind of set this up for our, our uh, chest, throw a bed down here. Hi, Mr. Enderman. Um... For all those of you who have been playing in the snapshots, was there word on Enderman spawning around bases and things like that? Did that get uh, modified or tweaked at all? Because uh, that would sure be nice. I mean, I, I don't have as much issue with it as, as some folks do, but it does... Those are all going to be built up too, so we'll put those up a little bit higher. And I think I'd rather have this clean, which of course means that needs to go. Oh, the one I didn't need to hit. Just clean stone for the moment. That's uh, all we need to worry about. But oh, I'm so excited! We got copper. Maybe out there. Then. Uh, 
think those actually want to go. These want to go. These want to get filled in. Ceiling needs a little work, but I kind of like that it, it raises out into the central area a little bit. Um, before it gets real natural looking. All right, so we can... Ooh, we cannot leave that. Um, those two good. These good. to that. Honestly. I'll leave it for now. Perfect. Okay. Let's start below ground. Um, did this go anywhere? Or was it just kind of a back around and we explored it? Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just start here. We want stuff that's in here for sure. And maybe some chests. Definitely a bed. Definitely a fortune pick. Leave those alone. We don't need the anvil. Oh. Uh, fortune pick. Okay. Let's start here. Furnace. Cobbled deep slate. We haven't seen that yet. Can use blackstone, which is interesting. I mean, that's fine. We won't we won't need to. We got the minecart with furnace. Always had that, and the blast furnace. What was in it again? Oh, I think we picked up the iron barge. Oh, we don't have smooth stone. I don't know. Do we feel like cooking some stone so that we have a blast furnace for our copper? Probably. Um. Let's pick you up. Put one of you down here permanently. Nothing in there. Blackstone. Blackstone. Iron bars. Perfect amount. Um... So we need a couple of furni, at least. One to be our regular. And for now, we're not going to worry about any kind of automation. Um, and then the, oh, we need it to... these have this toolbox you go away now coal it's gonna get a little dangerous because I'm sure the mobs will avail themselves of every opportunity to become annoying let's Risk it for the heels on the pick. Get 
pretty inferior in this regard, but it will get us plenty to get started on our uh, cooking and smelting and all that kind of stuff. Because I, I want to, you know, check out all this stuff. If we come up into the sunflower biome and there are villagers there, as I understand it, we can... Uh, use the lightning rod to protect them. And I've intentionally not slept yet. If we just sleep, that kind of cancels our... Um, our ability to get storms. And of course, if there's any creepers out there during a storm that get hit by lightning, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, we want to kill them with our sword. And I don't know if that's a guaranteed drop or not. Um, hope nothing's changed or broken. Obviously, nobody's talking about it anymore. Um... Not that it was ever... Where am I here? Not that it was ever... The flags were never, you know, never like the advancements or the banner types. Um, yeah. I'm making everybody wait for it. I know. Okay. Now, you guys... Uh, see, this is where this isn't enough. We need... Let's make an upstairs... That's all you get. A little pick. Although if we uh, if we gather the cooked uh, iron and copper, we should get some XP, I would think. So let's take this all out to make a... Not just throwing down shulker boxes eventually, chest room. Or room, more. Home, away from home room. This is going to kind of be our base camp. And eventually, I want to make some kind of a home here, but uh, right now, we don't want to let too much building get in the way of our of our fun. Uh, I don't know what what we're going to use all these for necessarily, but we got a lot of goodies to put away. Um, okay. two more of those at least. Uh, basalt, netherrack, blackstone, all of you can go away. Up here, let's store at least some coal for potential torches. Uh, we'll make this a junk of the overworld box, or non-nethery stuff. And I'm not willing to call stone just junk quite yet. What? Oh, did I use the wrong pick when I finally did? Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Nobody panic. We got lots of resources. I didn't do it. Can I fix it? Yes. I know it's not a ton, but... Okay, good. That at least blast furnaces. So that's good. Alright, now we got this iron. Tonight, I keep thinking I've put torches here. Uh, iron, you go in. Get you out of sight, out of mind. Okay, now, while that copper is cooking, how are we looking up? That's just more iron. 
That looks like daylight. Should we go? We can let the rest of that cook, right? Did I never... I guess I never finished here. Let's go... Up, up. Okay. Well, this is this is our new home away from home, everybody. Isn't it awesome? It uh, looks remarkably like anything else at the moment, but that means nothing. We got all kinds of animals. We got a desert over there. Before we do anything crazy. And F3, bear with me a second, I don't have this open. Slow cooker. So, um, copper, copper clad mine. think that's appropriate, right? Copper Cloud Mine Stair. And it is at... Move over. 19.59 by 13.32. Um, our original, our Badlands base is uh, another, about 30,000 blocks away east-west, and another, uh, five, no, almost 8,000 blocks <laughs> north, so that's a, that's a good one. Um, where's our regular base, though? Jungle Temple. Lands and villi igloo villager outposts. Base camp. Negative 546, 1376. So, yeah, we actually went, uh, went a little bit further than that. Uh, must have come back a bit in our, uh, staircase building. Very cool. Uh, for any of you that don't know what I'm talking about here, as we just look at a debug screen, I have a notepad, a PC notepad called Slow Cooker, uh, just the name of the world, and I jot down coordinates of things that are important to us in the world. This being our way home, and last but not least, or leastwise, is pretty darn important. Not to mention... Uh, we're going to make some kind of a home right here because we got a mine right underneath it. But it's always good to get a look around at the surroundings. 
So this is our sunflower plains. It's pretty small. The desert, as you can just barely see it, is right over there. Unless that's some random beach that is faking me out. It looks like we've got a traditional forest over there. So the much like in a lot of spawns, when you're out in the middle of nowhere like that, the world gets a chance to kind of reset. And the game can uh, obviously randomly throw whatever it wants. In our case, which isn't unexpected, um, it decided to throw a an abandoned mine shaft at us. There's a temple. Oh. Now, can we find anything new in desert temples? I wonder. I kind of doubt it, but we still might find enchanted golden apples. Um. And this is kind of the, <laughs> that's a very buried temple. Um, it's kind of a weird thing about the, this new world is it's not super biomey, right? The, the axolotls have a water dependency, but I don't know if that's oceans only or if that's, for, it says they're amphibious, so they may be in swamps. I don't know. Um... The goats, I would guess, would be in mountains. We did not see a village, so I don't yet have a need for a lightning rod, but I'm guessing I'm... Oh, speak of the devil. Now that one's not going to get lightning, though. Oh, no, that's a, that's a savanna jungle, not a... Not a desert jungle, so good. Um, really, here. Sounds creature-y. I don't think you're going to get... Can they come up and around the stairs? Are they smart enough to do that? A few more torches than I really hoped for, but... You missed. Come on. You missed again. Your twin. He didn't miss, but... Okay, let's... Uh, light up that stuff. Kind of nice once you've. Oh, hi. You just thought I wouldn't notice you? Uh, once you have the top lit up and there's just not as much going on. Now, a creeper, whatever, can wander in up top there unless we put on doors, but. Um, not a big deal. Little, little wild with a pick. It's been a while since we've done any sandstone mining. So I do. I I kind of love these. You know, when you when you venture out and get a new a new uh, pseudo spawn. I mean, it's not. Doesn't have that the the same impact on the gameplay as spawn chunks do, but it's it's this new setup, and it kind of gives you the opportunity to play a little bit of that. Let's look. What do we got? Infinity. Nice. I mean, we can buy it. Silk Touch. Nice. At least they're books we can use. Sharpness one. I had to go and say it. Other than that, not terribly exciting. I hope we can carry all this. Still got some room. 
doing fine. Oh, and then we'll need to get back out again. All right, so we got lots of different uh, different loots here. Oh, uh, bunny. Okay, this could be a little bit of a wild combat night, and I don't I don't mind that, but I don't want to get the villagers to. Is there any super distant skellies? Awful misses. Um, I would really like to get that sniper. I may not even be shooting at a skeleton. Those guys are too close. Um... We got phantoms. Oh, there you are. Hey, boy. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, am I too full for a membrane? What? A baked potato? Now, was that because he had a potato and I hit him with a fire sword? Hey! I've never seen such a thing before. Right, well, there's our torch. I don't know that we really need to be fighting in desert when oh, we would be oh, more when we'd be more interested in uh, getting new content right you know that's and I, I'm tempted to sleep to do just that. Um, I mean, I'd love the charge creeper head. That's that's huge. That goes beyond versions. It's just something I've never done. And it gets us all of the different banner types for our collection back home. So that would be hugely awesome. And I, I would certainly take that opportunity, but um, I'm, I think this is our little marker. Um, also interested in getting on with, uh, with the content, so I don't want to you know, just hang out waiting for a storm. It's something that's not going to go away. And when we do finally get a trident and put some channeling on it, it will uh, be that much easier to uh, knock out. Come down into my underworld lair. <laughs> he got a... It, ah, doesn't matter. It's cool. I don't know if they're intentionally now dropping baked potatoes or if that's because I have fire on it. Well, do I have fire on the sword? I don't know. I mean, we you cook animals if you kill them with fire. So, kind of makes sense. Where did the sunflowers go? Sunflowers. 
Missed you. Missed you too. You c uh oh. Uh, just a little sandstone. You good little, good little copper ores. All right, we're holding. Oh, it's so orange, peachy, beautiful. All right, what am I doing? This to this. Get a little XP. Um, overworld junk. Pigmen coming through the. <laughs> what was that? Was that a drowned? Uh, hello? <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, okay. There's all that. These are both pretty jammed up. Nope, not. Oh. You, 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 you. All things we're going to want back at home. The books, the horse stuff. Okay, we're going to need wood. Um, let's leave these chests. And let's go. Let's go, Kate, and mine in a bit here. See what. Oh, you were a drowned. All right. Let's see if we can get some copper from you, because I hear that's your new, uh, your new thingy. I would know if I'd gotten copper. Okay. That's our way back. Anything down under here? Yeah. <laughs> In the height of all this fun exploring and stuff, one, one thought that reminds me of... Uh, of the trip I just took, and, and specifically the driving part, going uh, across the full width of the state of Nebraska, which people people kind of rightly give Nebraska a hard time. I mean, it's an agricultural state, and it's you know it it is that it, you know Omaha and in the very eastern edge is fairly cosmopolitan. Um, and, you know, people are looking at it fairly, it, you know, whether you're in a coastal city or whatever, other than the fact that it doesn't have endless, uh, endless area of suburbs around it, it's going to be pretty similar to, you know, whatever you're familiar with. It's got the same, same businesses, same kind of that kind of stuff, you know, it, there's suburbs in a ring around it. All the chains and stuff are there. I mean, you know, it's a city. It is it is what it is. They take a lot of pride in, in not being a, you know, a coastal city type place, as does much of, of the middle of America. Um, just, you know, because not everybody wants that kind of competitive rush, 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 go, go, go all the time. There's some value to not having to do all that all the time. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, the rest of the state is very small towns, independent farms, or large areas that aren't even, aren't even appreciably that. They're just, you know, wide spread out areas. Uh, nothing compared to Eastern Colorado, uh, you know, Eastern Colorado is, is ranching drier land, so there's less to look at, really. Uh, but the drive across uh, Colorado and into uh, Nebraska is actually pretty visually entertaining as far as it goes. It follows a river, the Platte, and its valley, which is well watered, has a lot of trees, and of course, there was a lot of historical towns and things that built up along the river. It was a means of transportation early on. The railroad followed it uh, because the towns and everything were there, and um, so there, 
you, you don't just go for miles and miles without seeing anything or anyone or, you know, there's just constantly stuff going on. So it's pretty good. I've driven Kansas to Kansas and that route through Colorado, you're really going for just, you know, miles of fence posts and stuff. And it, those are the kind of next gas 500 miles, you know, check your tank. It's not that much. I think the whole state isn't 500 miles to cross, but it feels like, like that kind of stuff is getting you all the time. So, um, I, you know, I, I enjoyed it, but, um, one of the, one of the changes I really noticed is radio coverage. You know, I, I even remember early on and this isn't uh it probably isn't so much a change in the radio it's just it used to be i wouldn't listen to any of the um the fm radio you know music radio as i was going across uh nebraska there was just nothing there for me you know, it was all oldies and country. And, and country I can take in doses, but particularly when I'm just road tripping, it's not for me. It, you know, it gets gets irritating and just kind of grates me a little bit. So, um, and, and that's, you know, it's, it sounds super judgy or limited and I, I don't mean it to be because I, there are definitely times when i will jam out especially kind of this time of year i love uh you know up tempo kind of the car country party type song stuff that's that's fast and celebrates you know having fun and, and you know not not having a complex crazy life um but the simple pleasure and stuff i, I really like that so if it's the right kind of tune and things some of my favorite music uh and i did driving through I, I didn't listen to much country music at all but i heard one of my one of my favorite songs from a few years back the uh i, I don't know who it's by i apologize to to the artist um but the if you're going through hell keep on moving uh song i just i absolutely when i first heard that i loved it when it was in heavy rotation i actually kept listening probably longer than i normally would to uh country music because i thought that song was just awesome what a what a cool little message and sentiment whether you know whether you're religious or not everybody knows about going through you know the expression going through hell <laughs> i'm going through hell right now well don't complain about it and don't stop just get pushed through whatever it is you're going through i love that message and it's it's so much fun and up tempo i love that song so i got to hear that that was cool but the biggest revelation and it made me feel pretty darn old is that all the stuff that i used to hate as oldies is now the stuff of my childhood right all that 80 it's like it's like a, a mix of there's some channels that are classic rock which i still i still like and uh then there are 80s pop channels which less tolerable but when you're just you know hit and seek on the button <laughs> as one channel fades or it goes to a commercial you can't stand and something you know you just play the the scanning game and uh that was pretty cool, you know, it was pretty cool, because, like, 80s rock is not something I listen to much at all, it, it's just, uh, I don't need that dirt in there, uh, I didn't put it in there, I guess, um, it just, uh, it just was fun to hear it, but then as I'm going, I'm like, I, th I think many of those are very formulaic, right? It's like a parent company, you know, and, and they may be very well be the same parent companies that are out here. Like, you know, there's like, a, uh, I think iHeartMedia is one of the big players now, but there's like a, was it like a Lincoln Radio Network and, and uh, something that starts with a W. Um, but, you know, they, they obviously provide, hey, these are these are the songs you can play, DJs. Go, you know, go nuts have at it and you know you can do requests and all that kind of stuff but in the rotation of those it's it's pretty much a catalog game um 
But I, I kind of liked it at times as a kid. Um, but Pour Some Sugar on Love by Def Leppard. Um, I, I must have heard it six or seven times in, in the times that I drove across. And again, I wasn't exhaustively listening to... Uh, to that type of music, I wasn't seeking it out, but uh, in the times that I did hear it, it was like every single time I found a channel, at least once, it, they would play that song. It was like, dude, what what's going on? And maybe, you know, maybe 30th anniversary of an album or something like that maybe is, is what's to blame there. I remember as a kid on some road trips, you'd you'd come through town and you'd hear a cool song that, you know, you'd heard on the, the radio back home. You're like, oh, that's a good one. And you find that it's like the the channel that only plays the top ten over and over again. <laughs> and so, like, it, it, they would burn out everything. Um, and, you know, may, maybe that even happens here and I just don't listen to those channels as much. But I, I even found by the by the end of it, I was pretty, pretty worn out with it. Um, out here, at least, the channels that I listen to that do play classic rock tend to have a little... Oh, there's more of that. So, there's two pieces. Now, I wonder if the second one would grow from the first one. Uh, do I try a Shears? Because the Glow KV stuff is, is awesome. But I'm never going to notice it until I've already placed torches, right? So then it's... Can I use it decoratively? Can I find it again? But if I was going to do that, I'd want to... Uh, Place it, you know, like get enough of it to light things up and place it decoratively. I don't want to just have to always be building around it. I'm sure it's just a matter of finding the right... Oh! Okay. I got glow lichen. Good. Oh! Okay. These are our experiments. Now, do we think that it has to be, like, low light level? Ooh, should I turn out the torches? Is it, like, mushrooms to grow? Oh, leave it as it is for now. See what it does, if anything. Oh, somebody found that lava. Um, yeah, I don't know. But at least, okay, so we know shears will pick it up. That's a good win. Um, so yeah, Def Leppard, uh, made me feel very, well, just the whole music in general, Def Leppard, I was like, um, yeah, I mean, I know that was a good song out of the era, but I never considered it like the top song, um, and <laughs> The whole reason I uh, I thought of all this, I was uh, as I was moving through here, I I thought just a bit of Enter Sandman. Uh, it's just the beasts under your bed. That bit um, when I was looking under those little bridge sections, um, that was a song I that hadn't even thought of or, or listened to in a long time. Absolutely loved. That was great. I heard some Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses was huge. The uh, Appetite uh, album was uh, very, very well played in cassette version in my car when uh, oh, what was it? I broken an antenna or something? I think I was like limited for whatever reason to just cassettes. I think I predated 
I think maybe CDs were coming and maybe I had a disc man, but I didn't have the little adapter or it broke or something. So there was a while where I was wholly dependent on cassettes and I think it was late and I, I, I'm pretty sure it was when I'd started switching over already and I didn't have many cassettes either with me or at my disposal. Uh, but I had some good, some that I absolutely loved. I had uh, both both cassettes of Rush Chronicles. Uh, I had The Doors' Greatest Hits, and I had Appetite for Destruction, among a few others. But I think those got just the super repetitive playlist in my car. <laughs> it was like you know the sometimes you have like the music of a summer. I think that was like two summers for me um where those those all came into play and they were great um but it, so it was weird hearing so much of that that it just kind of been out of sight out of mind and like i said i, I like hard rock but it you know it tends to be more uh at least the channels out here are more you know floyd zeppelin um, Skinner, you know, some of that like Southern rock type stuff that mixes, obviously, um, you know, <laughs> those first guys weren't at all Southern, but like Skinner, Skinner certainly uh, was in Alabama and uh, some of those, and they, they had a lot of influence on, um, you know, what what kind of became the, the general uh, rock and roll Oh boy, a couple of you, huh? Get y'all. Got plenty of arrows for everybody. Um, how am I going to know? I want to find these amethysts. How do I see them? We found lichen. We found copper. Not very much. I mean, we found all that copper. Maybe the copper isn't in the mines as much. Could that be a deal? One thing I know for sure, we're going to have enough wood for torches. Um, so, yeah, it was interesting to see how, you know, how even... In what you know, we refer to as I, what I guess now is oldies, oldies of the the 21st century is uh, 80s rock, I guess, uh, or 80s pop. But as I think back, I I don't recall hitting any oldies channel like the golden oldies that that I would have heard thought of. Um, I did hear. On some channel, I heard the actual version. For anybody that's watched the movie Dumb and Dumber, you know the uh, the part where they're driving in the van and uh, they've got uh, they start picking up hitchhikers, and they've got a whole bunch of migrant workers in the back, and they're playing uh, they're playing the Mockingbird song. I don't I don't know what the title of it is, but you know. So, um, the yeah, yeah, so, you know, um, mock, yeah, ing, yeah, bird, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of how it goes non-musically. And in in the movie, you know, the, the migrant workers are all saying C. So it, it's, it's awesome. Dumb and Dumber is a great movie, if you haven't seen it. Um, but... Uh, the that was kind of the the closest to an oldie, and it was awful. I mean, I I remember the other version, and it was like, wow. I I I'm sure I'd heard it before the movie because you know everybody kind of knew it. Uh, but whatever the version was, or if that was the original, it was terrible to listen to. It was like. Yeah, this had to be parodied. Uh, I don't know why people waited so long to do it. Um, but that was the closest I got to, like, the, you know, just the old like, Chuck Berry. B 
Beatles, nothing. Um, the Stones got got mixed into some of the the uh, classic rock that I was hearing a bunch of, but um, uh, like not a not a Beach Boys song to be heard. Uh, no Elvis, none of that. It's weird, you know, just strange how that changes and those, you know, and I wonder, you know, were our parents like that too? Like, yeah, we, you know, big band maybe. And my parents obviously are older than a lot of your, you know, a lot of your parents are probably my age or younger. But, um, you know, for my parents, whose parents, I, I remember my grandma always had like um, big band and, and kind of that. Um, that band leader type music on her kitchen radio at home, uh, and somebody who was uh, uh, certainly well known at my school, University of Colorado, um, Glenn Miller was uh, was big on her list. So you know, I'd heard all all those from my grandparents. But I, I do wonder, you know, when when my parents were listening to the oldies channels and going like, oh, yeah, you know, we listened to all those kind of, you know, were, were they going, yeah, man, we remember, but just nobody plays the music that we heard as younger children that was just kind of in the background, you know, that was the oldies and, and the stuff that still had lots of regular play as, you know, as my parents were um, were hearing the beginnings of, of pop and rock bands and things split out and uh, and change the musical landscape. So I don't know, um, but it, you know it's it's just weird. And who determines who's still heard and who's past? And, you know, does that? does that factor into who's still touring and who's not, you know, does that, do they, do they then hire out or, or feature their music through the, uh, the various station owners and be like, Hey, you know, and, I don't know they were talking about like updates for the guns and roses tour and, and some of those. And is that what determines what gets played on those? You know, in my day, I remember, uh, uh, my parents taking me to see like a, a Harry Belafonte show. Um, I saw some Neil Diamond along the way. Um, I don't know that I ever saw the Beach Boys. I think my sister did when they were kind of in their their heyday. You know, nowadays I I'll go watch like you know uh, the Dead, which is the Grateful Dead members minus Jerry Garcia. Um, some of those kinds of, of bands that have replaced members or whatever, but are still out there and they're, they're kind of cashing in on that reunion. I mean, the stones have done it a lot, you know, the who all, all those various bands have, uh, have had their reunion tours or not quite dead tours, things like that, where they, uh, where they'll go out and, and kind of, yeah, they may not be the same as they once were, but they know that people will pay for their last chance to see them live, and they can run with that for like, you know, however, however God willing, along they they stay alive and can do it. Um, and they fill bands with uh, with young uh, musicians who are trying to make a names for them, make names for themselves, and those guys get the chance to live with legends and, and you know put onto their their resume that they they do it and and sometimes you know sometimes it's just genuine fun the, those are, were people that they grew up idolizing or styling after um and so it, it has been interesting and, and fun to watch who gets the nod to replace the lost legends in some of those various bands or people that have, have moved on and don't want any part of it although you know i think in recent years the money has shown it it's really not something you can easily walk away from when you're, you know, there, there are very few, 
uh, artists out there that have done so well that they can truly retire, hang it up, walk away, and and have no regrets. But as much as all of us dream of, oh, I want to be a rock star, you know, I want to live out there, it's, it's a lot like professional athlete. You know, a lot of the people don't make as much money as you would have ever thought they would have. Yeah, they, they have a little bit uh, better chance with, you know, ongoing royalties, things like that. But uh, fortunately, when they're, when they're earning the most, they're spending the most, uh, both because of the lifestyle and just the necessity of it. And, you know, it, much like sports, there's there's dirty agents that are in taking their cut. Uh, they're performing services as well. You know, ostensibly they're the ones keeping ownership and, and record labels or whatever from just completely um, cashing in without sharing any of the revenue for the oh, oh! stalactites and stalagmites. Shh, we don't want to scare them. Uh, that's not very... How can I... Oh, hang on. Let's do... I think I need to go like that. No, it needs to be like that. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. I thought those were the only ones. Oh, oh no, no, don't, you broke it! Ugh. Don't do that. Do that. Oh, you bad, bad, bad creep. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's the drips. Yeah, those look too much like ancient debris. I could see myself getting very excited. Although, granted, we're not in... What is that? Get out of here, rail. Pointed dripstone? Are they... Da! Alright, can nobody else please... Oh, no! You're not a torch. I hope this doesn't screw it up to put lights in here. Oh, look at how big that one is. I mean, it's kind of phallic, but uh, so amazing. That's how they go. All right. I'm sure that this has taught everybody. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure this has taught everybody about stalagmites and stalactites. Everybody's got their own favorite ways to remember which is which. For me, stalagmites are the ones on the bottom because when they're all lined up, they make M's, right? The, the points all go up just like an M. Stalactites have a T and they hang from the top of the cave. So everybody talks about, I don't ever know which one's which. I can't. Was that for me landing on this? Did I break it? Um, all right. I'm sorry, little guy. For science, though. Well, you didn't. No. Was that just... Didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. Yeah, I don't. I don't get the big drop from there. There, I got the sound. I don't think I'm hurting myself at all, though. That's, I mean, would I get that? Oh, weird. Okay, so you get a little more droppy sound. <sighs> Alright, we gotta... So 
someday I'm gonna. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Ooh. Very cool. So we got these. Um, I don't have a bucket. Now what can I do with these? So we got in here, right? I should mention I'm totally lost, and I should mention I'm just looking at the clock time. Oh, I should more of that stuff. And I'm guessing we're at like an hour and 20 minutes. So... Here? Maybe? Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. I think that's going to probably have to do us, but... So I'm curious, if I do, what do I do with all that, wait, I'm not, I'm, Dah. you go there, you go there, you guys go here, you, 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 no I had a sight? Okay, you guys are all good. You go there. You go there. Um, you guys can stay. Stack some more of that up until I need it. Now, take these. If I make a bucket... I put a dripstone. Can't do that. Um, what's the cauldron? Yes. I have enough. Oh, I do. They already put them in there. Let's try this. Ooh, you see how quick? So now, will that fill? Okay, I did get it though. That's all right. Now, if I do this, that, let it drip faster. It will, maybe, or was that just all the beginning? It's not filling up like the thingies. The thingies? The uh, composters with the bone meal. <laughs> Seven and now it doesn't have an interface. I mean, that's got to be a thing, right? I don't know. To be seen. That goes there. Um... Lightning. Is this a lightning round? Three coppers. We don't know exactly what it does yet. Uh, 
but we'll make one. And we know we want to protect villagers. But hold on, before we do any... Block of copper. That's a lot. Is that anything? No. Can I not make, like, copper plates? Um... I don't know that I want to rebuild all the tools that I have here. <clears throat> to then go back down and... To go back home to see if I can build, you know, like... The stone cutter never makes a whole lot of sense to me anyway, but can it make different stuff. Could the smi mason smithing table, whatever it is? I mean, I don't think the anvil is set up to do anything with it. I mean, that would tool-wise make the most sense. But I mean, I think that's just going to be the name it. That doesn't seem like anything. Now, I don't think I don't think it was ever the intent to make like a copper tool tier, right? It's not it's not something that's supposed to go in and around iron. Is it? No. But if we're Like, I remember from the video, and again, I, I haven't watched them over and over again. I could be wrong. But my my impression was, in the video, it says you can, you know, build a house, put a copper roof on it, and it will weather over time. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't just massive copper blocks. But I don't see slabs. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Well, the mystery is to be figured out. For this episode, uh, is there any more water in our thing? Is there any water in our thing? No. That's not a thing, is it? Oh, man. Or it is, and it will just take a really, really long time to fill, which would be more realistic, less usable, but uh, but more actual. We So we found copper, lichen, Glow lichen. Um, and stalactites and stalagmites, which are, what was it, pointy drip rocks? I mean, if they call them drip rocks, it's got to be a thing, right? Dripstone and regular dripstone. If they point and are called dripstone, that's a this has got to be a thing. Got to be a thing. Um, hopefully it's a thing. It didn't seem that the bucket was a thing, though. Like, you can't milk the, the drip stone. Um, so that's good. We didn't find any of the amethyst yet. We've got to do that. Um... We haven't found any chests in here to see if there's any other chest loot. 
We did check out the new ores for both iron and coal. They look awesome, I think. So that's pretty sweet. Um, now, when we go back, I, I think old chunks will still load old ore. Which will be kind of weird. And I don't know if it will stack. All very to be seen. Um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about packing up or going or doing anything just yet. We want to we want to have a long, full adventure with the newness of the world, and that's gonna mean getting out there, doing some flights, doing some boats, whatever. Because uh, we have glow squid um, that have glowy ink which I assume is like sacks right that's gonna be like the regular squid um, the regular squid makes black ink so can you dye things glowy I don't know that would be cool but that would kind of make the lichen stuff not make sense so I don't know so much so much to be seen and determined um, we definitely want to get a bunch of this. I, I just, maybe I'm way off, but I thought there was a lot that this was supposed to be like blow the doors off construction. Maybe I'm confused, confusing that with the slate. Cause we did see like, you know, a, a deep slate cobble in the crafting bench, um, reference. We haven't found any of that. I don't know if that's like deep underwater or deep underground, what, but, but uh, there was also talk of the build height. Can we build above build cap? I don't know that we have enough here to find out. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to play around and figure it out. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, obviously, because we are way, way over time. Two hours and two minutes. I apologize for the long episode, guys, but that just goes to show it's new content and it is awesome awesome um i love finding stuff for the first time i think everybody that uh that plays minecraft shares that you know exploring uh thrill and excitement and it's just there's nothing to match the new stuff so uh, i'm glad i waited i'm um, sorry for the delay for you guys particularly in the fact that i didn't even get to record on the uh the days when this first came out but we're going to be doing a lot we're going to be out here uh, exploring and playing around as much as possible. Personally, I am not going to be watching much of any content, which bums me out. I even commented to somebody, you know, like, oh, man, I see you got a bunch of tutorials. Those will probably come in really handy, but I'm not going to look at them because I want to go play blind for a while, you know, and, and something. Oh, that's awesome. Just, you know, they'll be here when you need them. And I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the people that, that who did play the snapshots waiting and, um, and then making some uh, tutorials and things when they will be needed and appreciated. Um, but I'm not going to rush. And, and I appreciate it. You know, if you guys see stuff in the comments, if I'm asking questions, feel free to answer in the most limited, specific way you can, if that makes sense. Like, you know, don't, oh, you asked about this, so therefore you want me to, you know, tell you how everything works in everything in 117. Now, you know, when I'm saying I I thought copper was supposed to be used for um, crafting, that would seem to mean that you could, you know, make some slabs and some stairs and stuff to make copper roofs or, you know, whatever the idea is there. Uh, if that's not the case, if I'm totally wrong, feel free to say no. I, I hopefully will figure it out. And again, remember, these... Uh, will probably come as quite a quite a series on Friday, uh, but until that time, um, I, I will still be recording more. So I may figure some stuff out on my own. Um, so you know, it it it's kind of a mixed thing. I, I'm asking these questions if as if I was streaming, you know. And at that point, that's kind of the it's kind of the attitude I think most streamers would appreciate. You know, is is don't try to just flex. Oh, I know so much. Here's Here's my answer. If somebody's trying to play, like, this is the one time for, you know, six months we'll get a, a little more of this content. But um, 
the one time a year or so that I get to experience new things for the first time. Just trying to flex to uh, to show how much you know by ruining a potential surprise, even if it's well-intentioned, like, oh, I don't want you to die by doing this. I play hardcore because, you know, I, I want to have that challenge and that risk. and I, I want the the surprise and the challenge of, oh, I didn't expect that to be threatening or hostile. So careful on the warnings. You know, it, it, we can all share a, a laugh. I'll probably uh, rage a bit first. But, you know, if I lose this world, it it won't be the first time. I, I've lost a lot of worlds, and they, they've they all had long history. Well, not all of them, but uh, a lot of them have had long histories and different builds and all that kind of stuff. So, um yeah, we'll uh, we'll get back to building and all that in this world, but it's going to be a heavy dose of exploration and uh, playing around right now as we try to go find some of these things and and figure them out. And again, I'm not going to go right to the wiki. Uh, I hope you guys don't uh, you know understand that I'll, I'll try to be teaching myself and exploring maybe through these next few days and then as it gets a little closer to real time you know if i'm really stuck on something or if it's just not making sense i'll go i'll go find an answer um and try to figure it out from there and then eventually i can get back to watching some of the people i enjoy and uh getting inspired to play uh play or see what they've discovered and done and you know again i know it's you know some people have been in this for months now uh on the snapshot so that's that's why I say I like to wait. Is it you know, you go quick, stuff gets modified, things that you really thought you liked may get pulled, um, things that you didn't like or struggled with get fixed out and never become a part of the deal. So, uh, but it is it is nice if you really do get stuck. There are people that have been out there that have already learned or gotten through those challenges. But it just means you got to be disciplined and, and tell yourself no. I'm not going to watch for a while because I know I'll I'll have a bigger reward personally if I don't. So again, long long episode longer uh extra hour it's kind of a throwback episode. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh please comment if you do. Let me know how your 117 worlds are going. I hope you guys are having a blast and have for the last uh what 3 days when when this comes out. So take care out there. Do take breaks. As you can see, it's tough even for me. I, I just went a whole extra hour. Um, but now I'm going to turn it off, and probably for the night. I have played a few. I've got some uploading to do, and, and as I said, I'm still back from vacation. i got you know unpacking and laundry and all that kind of stuff to get to, too. So you guys take care out there. Uh, we'll get more new episodes up to be loaded on Friday, and then expect Saturday they'll be fairly regular for me and maybe depending on how that pc shop thing goes maybe see me on another platform that's a little more real time in the future anyway take care we'll see you soon bye now